Justice Clarence Thomas. He's been a stalwart defender of the Second Amendment. The left has been after him, especially following his eloquently penned decision in the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin. As a result, all of their anti-gun pillars are crumbling. They hate this man, and now they have him in their target, in their sights, and I want to talk about it. Before I jump into that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that's Lear Capital. Last year was a terrible year for investors, and predictions are that 2023 will be even worse with the upcoming recession. But what did have a really impressive year this past year was gold investments. If you're interested in investing in gold, I suggest you call my friends at Lear Capital. The team at Lear will provide helpful information about purchasing gold or converting part of your IRA or your 401k into a gold IRA. Not only are they the best around with over 25 years in business and thousands of five-star reviews, but they also have a 24-hour risk-free guarantee where you can review your investment for 24 hours before committing to it. You can learn more at leargg.com or call 1-800-260-5075. Thanks to Lear Capital for sponsoring this video. All right, guys, uh, so Justice Thomas is under attack right now for what the angry mob left are saying are ethics violations. However, let me put it out front here, the Supreme Court has very, very few restrictions on what they can do because they have a lifetime appointment and you are allowed to have a life outside of work. Uh, so the angry left, many of them in government, they have restrictions for ethics. They really can't, not supposed to, accept gifts of more than $50 in value and they have to disclose those that they do, blah, 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 blah. And they're pissed off at Justice Clarence Thomas because for over 20 years, he's hung out with his friend, who just happens to be Harlan Crow, multi-billionaire real estate mogul, uh, who <laughs> is a, just happens to be a GOP donor as well. I'm not going to drill down into all of the allegations because they're just allegations. What I will say is that uh, Crow and Thomas have gone on many trips over the years, uh, Harlan Crow, I'll give you a statement here in a minute. Uh, Justice Thomas hasn't reset anything yet, but uh, Crow has allowed Thomas to go on on his yacht, uh, use his private plane, uh, and even stay at his own his private resort. And Harlan is saying that's because they've been dear friends for over twenty years. Now the anti realistic left, the mob is saying well, that is unique access to a Supreme Court justice. Well, what about the unique access that Bill Clinton had when he met with uh, with Lynch on the plane, uh, talking about uh, don't pro don't prosecute my wife Hillary? Uh, what about that? That's cool. That's all right. That's just coincidence. They just happen to hang out, you know, on the tarmac. Like that's normal procedure. So again, it's good for us, but we see something we don't like, uh, and it's a person we don't like because he's destroying what we've been trying to do to this country. Let's go after him. So the witch hunt is on. Like I said, I'm going to give you Harlan Crow's statement. Let's put it on the screen right here. Mr. Crow said, My wife Kathy and I have been friends with Justice Thomas and his wife Ginny since 1996. We are very dear friends. The hospitality we have extended to the Thomases over the years is no different from the hospitality we have extended to our many other dear friends. We have been most fortunate to have a great life of many friends and financial success, and we have always placed a priority on spending time with our family and friends. Just as Thomas and Ginny never asked for any of this hospitality. We have never asked about a pending or lower court case, and Justice Thomas has never discussed one. And we have never sought to influence Justice Thomas on any legal or political issue. More generally, I am unaware of any of our friends ever lobbying or seeking to influence Justice Thomas on any case, and I would never invite anyone who I believe had any intention of doing that. These are gatherings of friends. On a number of occasions, we have made contributions to projects celebrating the life and legacy of Justice Thomas, just as we have done with other great leaders and historical significant figures. He and Ginny never asked us to do any of this. We did so because we believe Justice Thomas to be one of the greatest Americans of our time, and we believe it is important to make sure as many people as possible learn about him, remember him, and understand the ideals for which he stands we will continue to support projects that advance this goal. Now, I'm going to, of course, this could be fudgicals, right? 
Uh, but if you just take it for, for what it is on the surface, it's two friends. One is a phenomenal justice who stands for the Constitution. The left freaking hates that. And they want to bring this guy down at any opportunity. And they think this is an opportunity. But you know what? It's more my feelings. Oh, my feelings supersede that Constitution. Let's keep kids safe. All that crazy horse shit has got to go. And this just happens to be a dude with a lot of money who can do whatever the hell he wants with his money. And he just happens to be taking his friends on trips. Now, are they going after any of the trips that Hillary Clinton's gone on? Are they going on any of the trips that Barack Hussein Obama's gone on? Are they going on after Joe, Bi Joe Biden for any of his trips or all the documents in six different locations that he shouldn't have had because he didn't have legal authority to have those? No, it's a witch hunt. He, Justice Thomas, is the reason they are suffering and struggling right now trying to get the assault weapon ban and all their crap being overturned as unconstitutional and they're going to try to take them down. See through the smoke, guys and gals. I wanted to make this video because I got calls, emails, texts, everything you can imagine in bulk about this uh, from late last night through this morning. And I just wanted to put this out there. See through the smoke. Know the truth. Yeah, they're friends. Okay? It is what it is. Take it for what it's worth. You got to believe the guy who even his wife, Justice Thomas's wife, Ginny, has said he doesn't even discuss cases with me. So this guy's been on the up and up. They've tried to bring him down at his appointment when he was being confirmed. And they'll try to bring him down every chance they get. This one's no different. Let me know what you guys and gals think down below. Justice Thomas, I'm standing with him. <laughs> you know, uh, the guy is has done a lot more than most Americans have. And uh, because of that, I'm standing with them because you're innocent until proven guilty in this country. And all of the my feelings crowd, the mob, the woke mafia, they forget about that and they want you to forget about it. Guys and gals, until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. I'll see you all in the next one. You want Second Amendment news? Subscribe to the channel. See you. Take care.